Hi, this is Dee, and thank you once again for joining me. Anyone that's new to my channel, I welcome you. Um, I haven't spent a lot of time with introductions. I hope, hopefully, you've gone uh, back into my previous videos to know and learn that I am one of many of the Lord Jesus Christ, also known as Yahushua HaMashiach's messengers, to deliver the end time messages. I am not, however, a maid servant. Um, these maid servants and even the men servants are ones that are called upon to write down his word. So as a messenger, I deliver them to you. So I'm going to start and let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart, Lord, be acceptable to you, Lord God, as I continue reading from Jeff Byerly's transcripts, the PDF files that you gave. This one was in 2018. It was March of 2018. He starts, my children, I speak to you this day because you are the ones who have ears to hear and eyes to see. I would speak to more, but they have been deafened and blinded by the things of this world. I would have you notice what is going on in this world that you are temporarily in. Time is short and you are not guaranteed tomorrow. Your soul may be required of you this very day. I say to you that the enemy knows that his time is short. Can you not see him raging through those that he controls? Yet he tries to hide his plans, and he lies and speaks of peace, though he has nothing but destruction on his wicked heart, and he knows how much he will be allowed to destroy. Do not believe his lies. I have told you that there will be no peace upon this earth until I am reigning from my throne in Jerusalem. Have you not noticed that even that every time the light is turned upon the enemy that he lies and then he tries to hide what he's doing soon is coming the time when he will no longer be able to hide his plans and the fiery event will take place which opens the door of destruction that will not be closed until i come so that's one of the main reasons why i'm still reading these things versus doing other kinds of um, i don't know teachings or that kind of thing it's because this is on my heart I was working at the time, and I missed these messages that were given, delivered to Jeffrey Byerly. And um, so I was on my heart once I started reading them, and I asked the Lord about it. And yes, in fact, I did even get um, um, what's called manifestation of his presence. It happens in the middle of the night when he shows himself. It can be like in a cartoon form. It can be any kind of a form that you know it's him. He shows himself, um, and he looks upon you. He's just looking nothing stern nothing angry looking he'll just look at you for a minute or two um and then you usually while your eyes are still closed you're, you're sleeping and you want to know what he's saying or doing and sometimes it's just that peaceful content that peace that he's giving you so that's a confirmation so i'm going to continue the destroyer of nations is coming quickly and for anyone who's new out there who might have just converted recently and doesn't know who the destroyer of nations he's talking about planet x or another way of referring to it is, is Nibiru. The destroyer of nations is coming quickly, and your kings have made their plans. They seek to control all of mankind so that they can survive and not be affected by the chaos and destruction. They think that they can hide under the earth, and some will even flee to the ends of the earth, but they will not escape my wrath. It will come upon them that do not repent. Even if they try to escape off of this planet, I will find them. I am everywhere, everywhere. There is no place to hide from me. I am no longer delaying the destroyer as I have in the past because of my mercy. I gave the wicked space to repent, but almost none did. The few that did are worth the delay. I warn you again, what is coming upon the world is not a time of peace and prosperity. That is a lie. All who teach that they will be rich in this world during the time that is upon you are deceived. By the father of lies. I'm sorry, I lost my place. Uh, bah, 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 bah. My children, did I not tell you to lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven and not upon this earth? Everything that is on this earth shall be devoured by fire. So why should you be concerned about any of it? I will provide the funds, supplies, and sustenance for those who are involved in my great end time harvest. Some of my people I have told to save and store, but others I have not spoken this to. So you know who you are out there if he's spoken to you in your heart to save and store up things. 
I tell you, my workers will not be using anything that they have st have stored or that I have given them to consume only upon themselves or on their own selfish desires and comforts, but for building my kingdom and saving the lost who will come from thousands of miles around to be cared for. Remember, he who seeks to save his life will lose it, but he who loses his life for my sake shall find it. Lose yourself in me under the shadow of my wings, the safest place that you can be. He signs it, Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach. The scripture given here is Jeremiah 4, 6 through 8. Set up the standard toward Zion. Take refuge. Do not delay. For I will bring disaster from the north and great destruction. The lion has come up from his thicket, and the destroyer of nations is on his way. He has gone forth from his place to make your land desolate. Your cities will be desolate, laid waste without inhabitant. For this, clothe yourself with sackcloth, lament and wail. For the fierce anger of the Lord has not turned back from us. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you take this to the Lord. I hope you bring this right to him so that he can address anything with you. In Yahushua's mighty name, amen. Have a great blessed afternoon, everybody.